shouldn't do anything. Yeah. Outside diplomatic norms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. there's anything she wants, yeah. It has to she she can pass via the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Yeah, yeah. But what she has been trying to do blatantly yeah. is to meddle yeah. in Uganda's internal politics, particularly election. Yeah, yeah. To subvert yeah. our election. Yeah and the will of the people. We have filed an application for habeas corpus uh, from election day, that was in the night of 14th. Honorable Chagulani Center, together with his wife and people at his home, have been detained in their own home by security agencies, including officials of UPDF and the Uganda Police Force. So in our communication with him on phone, we agreed that we filed for this application for habeas corpus so that he can be allowed to have and enjoy his liberty with his family. Right now we are before Justice Michael Rubu and he has given us Thursday 21st of January at 10 a.m. for the hearing of the application for habeas corpus and I think when we were coming to file this application we were informed by the security agencies that some of us Probably two of us can access Chagulanyi as lawyers, which we think we will not do as of now, because our preoccupation now is his personal liberty. So we want a declaration from court that the private property of Honorable Chagulanyi is not a prison, is not a gazetted detention place, and if there are any lawful charges against him, he should be detained in a place which is duly gazetted under the laws. So you take over the next page. The 2021 electoral process has reduced Ugandans to helplessness and the fear and the Museven's action obviously seek to legitimize an illegal and a flawed electoral process.